happy Friday. All right, so another vlog starting off in my car, but it's Friday, it's finally a nice day out, even though it's still a little chilly. But um, this week was that big snowstorm, and I'm about to go to CrossFit class. Um, and it's kind of the same workout as it was last Friday, but last Friday I tried recording it, and I just like totally set up the camera the wrong way, and um, didn't really get any footage. So that's kind of, and also this week's been super busy with work, so that's why I didn't really vlog much. But I'm gonna try vlogging this weekend and take you guys along. Burpees just always make my face red. That was like similar workout to the one I did last week, but it was thrusters and rowing. And for some reason, the thrusters and burpees just like gave it a whole new level. So, and I like actually became lightheaded towards the end that I just like raced home. I just had my protein shake. Um, so I'm like a little bit refreshed, but it's funny cause usually I'll intermittent fast and this class is at 1230. So I would usually not really eat anything, but I actually did have three cookies this morning because my boss brought us cookies and he gave me these like gluten-free coconut macaroon cookie kind of things I don't know if that's the right word for them but they're so good and I ate those and I still felt kind of lightheaded at the end but um yeah now I'm just gonna work from home the rest of the day and then Matt is gonna come over well he's gonna actually come home he was in Hoboken and I still live at home so we're just gonna hang out it's probably just hang out tonight and then yeah so I'll see you guys later first purchase of the day <laughs> Down Alternative, Beauty Rest, Duvet, <laughs> and King Shams pillows. Perfect. Home Goods, where it's at. Pop in on Saturday. Alright, now on the hunt to find some floor lamps. Alright, if you can't tell, today is a full day of shopping. Apartment shopping, finally. It's like the day I've been waiting for for a very long time. But um, capital lighting was a bust, very expensive. So now we're on our way to Ikea. Um, so far we only got that duvet and pillows and we'll show you whatever else we get. But um, yeah, we're ready to just like go crazy. At least I'm ready. I want like everything. I'm gonna butter this video. Like that. And then butter the up. <laughs> well, these are each for one single item. My dad said that you could stack them, so and two of them are expired. So hopefully, this, this expired on Christmas. So okay, we'll, we'll take it. That's what he said. Yeah. We'll see. So it's now the next day. It's Sunday, and yesterday ended up being so exhausting. So we literally shopped for six hours and didn't even get what we wanted, which were bar stools and floor lamps. Um, I don't know why they're just so, like, I don't know, they just don't sell it in stores, I guess, what we wanted, because we wanted really tall ones. But um, we ended up 
now that I'm putting everything in my storage room, so I'm just piling everything that we got, and then I'll obviously get a truck or something when we move. But now it looks like a lot. I was thinking that we didn't get that much, but we did because we got a lot of bedding and stuff, which I'll show you. So we got a duvet insert, and then in here is just silverware, king pillows, and then just cheap king pillows that we got at Home Goods. And here is just all the, there's a blanket and then all the sheets we got for our bed. And then this is a dresser for my, or a nightstand from Ikea that I got a while ago. And then the last thing we got yesterday, though, was just a drying rack from Ikea. But it doesn't sound like a lot, but it sure looks like a lot because it's all of this. Now I am going to meal prep because I went to the gym this morning. Um, my little sister is like running upstairs, so that's what I'm hearing right now. But um, I went to the gym this morning. I just did legs and a little bit of incline walk because today is Palm Sunday. So I'm in a little bit of a rush. So I'm gonna show you a really, really quick and easy meal prep. It's literally just like one pan um, and the ingredients you can get at any grocery store. So um, yeah, I'll show you that. Okay, so these are all the ingredients. It's super easy. And the only ones I'm actually gonna even use right now are just these two. I'm just gonna meal prep. So if you have time, you can chop up actual peppers and onions, but most grocery stores have this, which makes it so quick. So I'm literally just gonna throw this in with ground turkey. And I meal prep four meals, so this is like perfect to divide into four. And then um, once that's made, and then I actually have my bowls ready, at, like so tomorrow will be the first I eat it, I'm gonna throw in lettuce on top. And then I got these portioned out guacamole minis. And then I got, I got frozen rice cauliflower, but you can get actual rice cauliflower that's not frozen, but I just prefer steaming this the day that I am eating the bowl. So that's really all you need. Um, and then I'll show you how I make it. to explain like a hack not like a hack just like advice to meal prepping if you're new because like a lot of people think meal prepping is like planning out every little single thing and sure it can be if you're really strict with yourself and you're prepping for something but in reality if you have like a normal job and a normal life and just normal goals things are gonna happen things are gonna get in the way where you can't have every single one of your meal preps so like for example a lot of times I'll have co-workers that want to go to happy hour or or I'll just have to work late one day, or a friend asks, hey, like, do you wanna catch up and get dinner tonight? So I only prep for dinners because you always leave that one for a buffer where something like that can happen. And if something doesn't happen, then like, I'm sure you can find something around your house that you can eat. It's not gonna be a big deal, but that makes meal prepping a little bit less stressful and just life a little bit less stressful if you like always have that one buffer meal for in case something happens and you're not totally stressed having to finish all the meal preps that you made. Um, like right now my company provides lunch so I don't have to meal prep lunch but when I did meal prep I would meal prep eight meals so I do four lunches and four dinners so I'd always have that buffer just in case like we got served lunch one day or just something happened because usually that's going to happen if you just have like an a normal life and you're not like an actual vlogger or that's fitness isn't your life or something so um, that's just a little tip if you're new to meal prepping and you are stressed about having to meal prep like every little snack out throughout the day like you'll see on Instagram or something like you don't have to do that like just do what fits your lifestyle um, that makes it super easy um, but yeah so this is almost done and I'll show you what it looks like okay so this is the finished product right now so then so tomorrow will be the first time I have one of these, so I'll just literally heat up one of these, like a little, like a minute and a half, I would say. And then when I throw that in a bowl with um, half of a rice cauliflower bag, I'll also heat that up tomorrow in the microwave. Super easy, it takes four and a half minutes. So 
that in a bowl and then I'll throw on some shredded lettuce on top and then have one of these and that's that's it so all together to heat up that takes like no more than eight minutes and then just throw that on top and something else is I am obsessed with these chips I have nacho and lime so these are optional <laughs> you don't have to do this but um, they're grain free so these this whole meal is paleo actually um, and these chips are so good it's a healthier alternative than like Tostitos because they're not made of corn so if you have trouble digesting corn, then these, which everyone technically does, you don't fully digest corn, by the way, <laughs> but um, this is something really good if you want to get that. Um, just to dip in your burrito bowl or just have with it if you just feel like having something nice with it. So that's totally optional because this is totally satisfying, but I just was in the mood for chips. Okay, so thanks for watching the vlog if you did. Now I need to shower and get ready for Palm Sunday and I'm gonna probably eat a lot because Matt's aunt is super accommodating to gluten-free and makes me so many gluten-free things so I'm probably gonna eat a lot <laughs> um, so yeah have a good Palm Sunday if you celebrate it if I don't vlog before Easter have a good Easter and thanks for watching